welcome back to my channel. My name is Shamika and this is Check The Rhymes. Thank you for joining me again. If you haven't already, make sure you hit subscribe and check me out on my media partner, Sweet929.tv. And don't forget, I also have a blog, TheMofoChronicles.com. Okay, y'all, what do you have when you take a star-studded clientele list, million-dollar homes in the Hollywood Hills, and then you take that big old pot that you put that in and you stir in some messy drama? You have love and listings on VH1. So joining me today, I have Zach Dials and Taylor Schwartz, and we are gonna get into the new season that kicks off on Monday, July 6th, and it airs at nine o'clock on VH1. And so then you can catch up and watch all the shows every single Monday. So we're gonna find out what's coming up this season, who are they gonna be helping find homes, and in the words of the great Aretha Franklin, who's zooming who, because you know I'm nosy chow. Stay tuned, you don't wanna miss this. Hi, Zach and Taylor. Welcome to Check the Rhymes TV. How are you guys today? Doing great. Doing great. Doing great, man. Can't so complain listen. at all. At all, for real. Y'all, y'all, y'all. Listen, first of all, like, I envy your job because these millions of dollars, homes, <laughs> like, these things are amazing. But I have to know, what clientele are we going to be seeing during the second season of Love and Listings? Or can you tell us? Taylor, I'm gonna let you, Taylor, I'm gonna let you go ahead and... Oh, goodness. <laughs> so we have a lot of, <laughs> obviously, A-list celebrities. Um, that's kind of what our specialty is on this show. We cater to the luxury celebrity LA real estate. Um, so you can expect, uh, you know, somebody like Vivica Fox, Ashanti, uh, Nick Young, and a, a ton of other ones. So there's definitely a lot more transactions, a lot more celebrities this year. So I'm super excited that we're more real estate focused this year and, you know, celebrity focused. And you're going to actually see some closed transactions and a lot of high end listings. So it's super exciting. This season is going to be amazing. And another part about <laughs> it is, oh, sorry, my bad. I didn't mean to cut you off, but, uh, you know, I've yeah. also worked with a guy, uh, Brandon Marshall, who's a former NFL player, and um, and a, and uh, he's teaming up to do a camp. So it was cool to kind of see guys that are from my former space, you know, venture out earlier on in their careers, you know, while they're still playing and trying to venture out and do other things. So that was that was a great experience Absolutely. working with Brandon Marshall on the show because it was like, okay, now these guys are starting to 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 wake up a little bit more and, and try to venture out and do more things and be smarter with their money. So it's it's a it, it's mm -hmm. it's going to be a great season. So I have to ask because I know a lot of like right now the conversation is, you know, obviously Black Lives Matter. Um, we mean we need more diversity in the workplace. So what do you feel about diversity in real estate? Do you think that it can be better or do you think, um, you know, it, it's good? Like, what are your thoughts on that? <laughs> And this goes for either of you. Like, <laughs> it's um, it could definitely be better. Like, especially, I mean, you out here in Los Angeles, especially in the market that we work in, you know, we're luxury realtors. So, I mean, we do we do real estate at any form, but for the most part, we you know we're luxury realtors, and at this level, there's not many African American um, real estate agents. You know, what I mean, just just trying to when we were casting for the show, trying to find individuals who were in that space. I don't think you understand how hard it was, you know, nowadays, you know, cause it started back in 2015, but so, but now you can kind of see the tide turning, you know what I mean? More and more, I'm starting to see more African Americans in this space and posting more and this, I'm like, oh, okay. So this, this person is out here. Okay. Okay. Cool. 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 I love to see it. You know what I mean? Because it's a, there's money out here for everybody to get. And you know, we could do this too. We could do this at a high level too. You know, it's not, don't be scared of it. And uh, so it's, it's, it's starting to tide is starting to turn, but there's still a lot more work to do. Absolutely. Taylor, question for you. How do you think that the pandemic has affected real estate right now? I know a lot of times right now people can't go inside the homes to look because obviously, um, you know, trying to take precautionary measures and stuff. But how has it affected you as a, as a real estate agent? As a real estate agent, honestly, me personally, I feel like everybody's had a different experience. Um, me personally, with the pandemic, I really have... Um, I've been, business has been booming, you know, people still need houses. Um, and especially coming from overseas, coming from New York, you know, LA was kind of like a safe hub for a lot of these people, um, in the beginning of the pandemic. And so I did see a lot of people out of state trying to come at least for the summer. And I do a lot of like short-term vacation rentals. So I was still doing that. 
I've leased um, a $45,000 a month house. I have a $2 million listing and all this has been acquired during the pandemic. So the pandemic definitely makes you jump through a few more hoops to uh, close a transaction. There's a lot of lot more safety measures, but overall business is still happening. People are always going to need to buy, sell and lease houses. And at this point, the pandemic hasn't really took it, taken a huge toll on the market. Mm -hmm. um, I still see it moving a lot, but uh, I expect, you know, in the future for there to be a little bit of a slowdown moving forward. But as of now, business is still booming. Real estate is still booming. The market is still strong. And I just pray that it continues to be that way. Awesome. Yeah. For my last question, I have to, I'm, I'm nosy. And so I was just saying earlier about, you know, I'm like Aretha Franklin. I got to know who's zooming who on the show. Who's, are there any hookups this season? Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> Or can you tell me? Give me a hint. Give well, me something. Give me some tea. <laughs> I mean, look, it, there's 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 some uh, inner cast mingling there for sure. So just uh, okay, you just you have to watch and kind of see how it plays out. But like I said, it, it's it's a roll. It's it's going to be a whirlwind, a roller coaster of, of emotions, events. But it's going to be. I think it's going to be worth watching. So <laughs> it's uh, it's going to be fun, man. It's a. Uh, it wasn't really quite quite fun going through it, but. <laughs> but like I'm, I'm sure watching it is gonna be like, damn, I can't believe that really happened. All right, cool, let's go. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be a good time. <laughs> I can't wait. So let us know when we can check out the show. So we are airing every Monday at um, eight nine, sorry nine eight central, um, and we're on VH1. So make sure you guys tune in. Be watching from episode one. We start July sixth, and then every Monday moving forward. You don't want to miss a single episode because every single episode has some drama, has some good transactions, has some high-end celebrities. So make sure you guys are tuned in every single Monday on VH1. There it is. I will be watching because I got to see about this intermingling. Thank you guys <laughs> so much for joining me here on Check the Rhymes. Thank you. <laughs> oh, that's great.